The New Zealand is in high demand of care workers, be it nursing assistant, age and disabled carers, be it the care assistant like you all call it, or even nurses or daughters. The New Zealand has now opened its border for foreign skilled migrants to enter into its country with its care work visa. In my last video, I discussed this visa in details. If you haven't seen that video, I would be leaving a link to that video here. You can see it or it's been displayed here. So when you scroll through my channel, you would easily come across the video and watch it to be able to grab a better understanding of what this visa is all about. Now in today's video, I would be showing you some care homes that are currently recruiting overseas applicants in New Zealand. I would also be showing you some hospitals that are currently recruiting overseas nurses and doctors in New Zealand. Now, if you've been interested in today's video, then keep on watching. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you, my amazing returning subscribers. I appreciate all your love and support. Honestly, every one of you are the ring Jews. And if you're coming across my beautiful face for the first time, hi, hi, hi. You are highly welcome. I love you so much. My name is Clara Joseph. And in this channel, I post videos about live here in the UK. I'm also on constant research about how you could travel abroad and migrate to the foreign country in general. Now, I would be encouraging you to hit the subscribe button and be part of the family. And I promise you, you won't regret it at all. Also, please don't forget to give this video a very big fat like. Thank you as you do so and God bless you. There are various care companies that have the license to recruit overseas applicants in New Zealand. This company are ready to recruit from all over the world. So be it you're watching from Africa, you are watching from India or the Asia country, these particular companies are ready to recruit you. And these companies are care homes, hospitals, nursing home, like I already mentioned. Now guys, I will be displaying all of the names of these companies boldly on my screen. So please, I would advise you to pay very close attention to today's video so you won't miss all of the names of these companies that I would be showing you today. The first care home that is recruiting today is called Mercy Ascot. And this particular care company is based in New Zealand. And as you can see, I am in their career page already. And you see where it says international applicants. However, we are going to scroll down and see what kind of care assistant they are looking for. What kind of nursing assistant they are looking for. Is it the live-in carer? Is it aid and disabled carer? Is it elderly carer? Like I always say, guys, there are different kind of care. So we really need to know what kind of care that they are looking for, what kind of carer they are looking for. It says, are you seeking a new opportunity in healthcare offshore? How about Auckland, New Zealand at Mercy Ascot? We are proud to have an ever-growing diverse group of international healthcare professionals. Click here to find out how to make this happen. So this particular care home, care company, whatever you would want to call it, is actually recruiting international applicants. So we're just going to scroll down again and read more about them. Okay. It says our culture and vision are important to us and our values are embraced and reflected in everything we do. We have a powerful commitment to our work and a unique approach to it. We believe if you work with your own art, you will succeed. So now it says your candidate journey with Mercy Ascot, the selection process may vary depending on the position you are applying for, okay? But it will be similar to the following stages. Firstly, the online application, okay, you need to apply online first, then you'll be shortlisted for an interview, then assessment, reference check, then employment offer. Now we're just going to go straight to the international application and see what it's going to bring. It says when you arrive in land you will find a city rich in diverse culture friendly people and a huge range of things to see and do 
Now it says Immigration New Zealand Ascot, the Ascot Hospitals and Clinic Limited, is an accredited employer with Immigration New Zealand. We consider international applicants for our clinical roles when we are unable to match our advertised role with a suitably qualified New Zealand based applicant. So, what this means is that since they don't they can't get um, workers in new zealand reason why they are now recruiting international applicants i explained in the first video i made about relocating to new zealand as a care worker that now the government has opened the opportunity for immigrants to come into new zealand and work as a care provider okay as most companies care homes and hospitals are now using this opportunity to recruit workers so this hospital here or this care home here is actually recruiting and the name is called mercy ascot i think i'll try my best to leave the link in the description box so it will be very easy for every one of you to get this particular website because honestly i want you all to apply for this job as soon as possible so if today's video have been explanative thus far please don't forget to give this video a very big fat like to show your support and as you do so may god almighty bless you with your heart desire now reading further it says international applicants who are offered employment with ascot would likely qualify to apply for the accredited employer work visa this is so amazing and one thing about this new zealand is that after two years you qualify for the level four and you become a permanent residency so guys i would be taking you to the next care company that is currently recruiting overseas applicants but before i do so so when you come here you can go to where it says a current vacancy i think i'm just going to do that to show you guys like a demo you can go to where it says the current vacancy and search for the job that talks about the healthcare assistant okay you can just go and search more for the job that talks about HK assistant. This particular care company actually offers other job opportunity in other kind of a medical field such as nursing and the rest. However, in today's video, we are just going to be focused on the HK assistant role alone. Maybe next time I will do that for nurses, but today it's just going to be the HK assistant role. So you can just come here and scroll and look for where it says HK assistant and apply ASAP. However, I would also advise you to sign up with them so you can get their job alerts immediately. Okay. Now, guys, with this being said, let's go to the next company that is currently recruiting in New Zealand. And this is called Oceana. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, please forgive me. Okay. And it says healthcare assistant. We pride ourselves on our inviting, friendly family atmosphere. So this particular care company already made it boldly known that they are recruiting healthcare assistants. So when you come here, all you need to do is click on where it says apply now. And don't worry, I would also be leaving this link in the description box of this video so you can get this website. Guys, I'm doing you guys good though. So please do me good by giving this video a very big fat like to show your support. Okay. And it says, do you have the right to work in New Zealand? Residents, citizen or current work visa. Now we're just going to click no because we don't have the right to work in New Zealand. However, we are actually trying to get into New Zealand with the care work visa. Now it says, do you require support for a visa application? You have to click yes. And it says, what level of relevant qualification you hold? Is it the level two, level three, level four? You write, I do not hold. You do not have any levels, okay? Afterwards, it says, if you hold a relevant qualification for this role, please upload a copy of your qualification here. Well, that's not for us because we are new into this and we're just trying to secure a job. So it says, do you have an existing medical condition, injury or illness? Then you have to click Maybe yes, you have or not. You have to click it. Then it talks about the COVID-19 rules. Then it says, do you have criminal conviction? So this is basically their um, job form for you to apply for this job as a SK assistant. You could also apply with Facebook, LinkedIn, or even apply with SIC. If you don't know SIC, SIC is a particular website, New Zealand website that you could easily get overseas jobs okay so you fill in your personal detail upload your cv and click on submit application now guys this particular oceana 
health care company is recruiting massively is recruiting massively okay so please do not miss out just go to the description box i'm gonna be leaving the link this time yes i'm gonna be leaving the link this time now i'm just going to the next company that is recruiting overseas applicants and as you can see the name of this company is called ascent at recruitment okay and this is like a an agency rather that recruits healthcare assistants or those into the medical profession but like i said we're just talking about healthcare assistant today so i want to focus on that i don't want this video to be all over the place so if you're a nurse or a doctor so please don't worry because next time would be for you so it says once a contract has been accepted you can begin your visa application process okay i think we should just go to the home force and read about this particular um agency or care company so we see what they are actually into and what kind of services and offer that they do so it says we recruit overseas healthcare professionals for a variety of roles in new zealand varieties of roles be the healthcare assistant be it the nursing and doctors okay so it says we assist you in finding the ideal job to match your skills and requirements we advise you on your CV interview preparation. We help you with your visa application and your move to New Zealand. So it's just giving you a particular, um, should I call it article of why you should use them, okay? So after we've re re read this, now we're just going to go back to where it talks about the international job, okay? I just took you guys to the, um, what do you call it again, to the home, so we could see what kind of services they offer okay so yeah it says ascent x recruitment for healthcare vacancy throughout the whole of new zealand whether you are looking to work in a major urban center or you are seeking a more rural location we can help you find a job okay so i'm just going to scroll again to the place that it talks about the international recruitment oh, as you can see it says relocation when it says relocation that is talking about the international applicant talking about those trying to come into new zealand as a care worker care provider okay and if you don't know about this visa again i would advise you to go and watch the first video i put up about relocating to new zealand as a care provider with that you would understand everything i'm saying here okay because it's my similar i'm speaking foreign language to some of you so it says once a contract has been accepted you can begin your visa application process that is once you've gotten the employment with them you can begin your visa application process your recruiter will assist and guide you through the relocation process and let you know what to expect ascent edge recruitment will continue to support you during this time your arrival to new zealand will be as close as a couple of weeks away or up to six months or more further down the track once you arrive in new zealand your recruiter will maintain contact with you so guys this is the website and this is everything that it talks about the relocation package or international recruitment alternatively you can go to where it says the employment search and search for um the job the current job vacancy and also their email i think i'm going to be doing that in this video try searching for that email so we could see how we are going to contact them because like i do say it's one thing to just apply on their website it's another to go further by going to the email and marketing yourself okay it's just up here so this is the email and it says info at ascend.net.nz so if you're looking to contact them this is the email you're going to use i will advise guys go and try your look in their email there's no i'm trying okay go to their email and market yourself market yourself okay so guys this is where i call it the day don't forget the three care company i talk about please don't forget them the first is mercy ascot then we have oceana and then ascent at recruitment okay these are for fk assistant okay so ensure to do the due diligence by going to this website like i promised i won't forget to put all of this link in the description box okay i'm wishing every one of you the very best of luck it's my dream it's my wish it's it's my everything to have you in your dream country, country soon, okay? It's my greatest desire to see every one of you migrate to the country of your choice soon, 
all right like i do say you want something please go for it yes i won't end this video without giving a word of encouragement that is me if you are on this channel you should know that you want something please go for it people might be saying it is hard oh it is hard getting a job in new zealand is hard getting a job in uk is hard getting a job in canada is hard people are saying that people keep saying that but trust me is there anything good that comes easy absolutely no so you have to put in double effort you have to pursue what you want and achieve it at the end of the day and i pray that as you put in all, all of the work it won't be in vain amen you all have seen where these companies and care homes stated that they are looking for overseas applicants they are ready to recruit international applicants now please i'm encouraging you to hurry up and go and apply asap like i explained in my last video this particular visa type is not forever it's just for two years it was launched on october of 2022 and it will come to an end by october of 2024 so if you are looking to get this visa please i would say you do it immediately so you will have a high chance of getting this visa and migrate to new zealand as soon as possible this is where i call it a day please guys don't forget to give this video a very big fat like to show your support and i'm wishing every one of you the best of luck see you in my next video and sure to stick around because tomorrow i would be going all out to show you more care homes and more hospitals currently recruiting overseas care workers Bye.